always, sometimes, never. Is it the case that if we have a vector function that maps a vector of size n to a vector of size m that is a linear transformation, is it always, sometimes, or never the case that L of 0 is equal to 0? I'm going to actually prove this two different ways. I'm going to use a different style first and then try to rewrite this as my usual style of proof. In the beginning, I'm going to say, for my proof, I'm going to write a little paragraph trying to argue that it is the case. And I'll start by saying, well, if L is a linear transformation, I'm going to use LT for linear transformation, then if we look at L of alpha times some vector, that's supposed to be equal to alpha times L of x. For all vectors x and alpha, including alpha equals 0. Well, if alpha is equal to 0, 0 times any vector gives us a 0 vector by scalar multiplication. So that means L of 0 has to be 0 times L of x, which is just the 0 vector. And so it must be the case that L of 0 is 0. There are many other proofs that also will do this. If I wanted to use the same style that I've been using in the past, what I might do is start with L of 0 and say that this is equal to L of 0 times x by scalar multiplication. But this is 0 times L of x since L is a linear transformation, which is 0 by scalar multiplication. So if L is a linear transformation, then it's always true that L of 0 is equal to 0. And again, there are other ways to prove it, but this is a nice, easy one.